There must have been a mighty crowd of dwarves here at one time. And every one of them busier than badgers for 500 years to make all this. And most in hard rock, too. Well, what did they do it all for? Well, they didn't live in these darksome holes, surely. These are not holes. This is the great realm and city of the Dwaradelf. And of old it was not darksome, but full of light and splendor, as is still remembered in our songs. The world was fair, the mountains tall in elder days, before the fall of mighty kings in Nargothrond and Gondolin who now beyond the western seas have passed away. The world was fair in Durin's day. A king he was on carven throne, in many pillared halls of stone, with golden roof and silver floor, and rooms of power upon the door, the light of sun and star and moon, in shining lamps of crystal hewn, undimmed by cloud or shade of night, there shone for ever, fair and bright. Unwearied then were Durin's folk, Beneath the mountains music woke, the harpers harped, the minstrels sang, and at the gates the trumpets rang. The world is grey, the mountains old, the forge's fire is ashen cold. No harp is rung, no hammer falls, the darkness dwells in Durin's hall. The shadow lies upon his tomb in Moria, in Khazad Doom. But still the sunken stars appear in dark and windless Miramir. There lies his crown in water deep till Durin wakes again from sleep. <sighs> I like that. I should like to learn it. In Moria, in Khazad Dome. But did none 